All right, brush monkeys, we're back and we're continuing the bombshell miniatures babes line with this lady. Um, when I bought the miniatures, they were running a special buy four, get two free. So this one and next week are the two that I got for free. Uh, this one is called Elsa's Bride, and obviously this is meant to be the Bride of Frankenstein, based on Elsa Lanchester here. And I was able to find this great color... Oops, it went away. I was able to find this great color picture of uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. There it is. Which I didn't realize Elsa Lanchester was a redhead until uh, I found this picture. And I decided that because all the other pictures of her, the um, movie stills from Bride of Frankenstein show her like black hair with that white stripe in there. I decided that looks better. I'm going to paint the figure mostly according to the black and white or to the, the colorized picture where she's going to have these hand wraps. She's going to have kind of pale skin. The, the wraps will all be um, tan. I think I'm going to do them in uh, skeleton horde and then dry brush them with uh, tyrant skull. This outfit is is going to be white and then her hair is going to be black with the white stripes on it um but yeah i got to do the black hair because i just i think it looks better with the white stripes i don't the uh colorized one just looks wrong to me for some reason <coughs> so that's what i'm going to do with her um and then next week we've got this uh dracula's one of these Dracula's Brides. That's going to be interesting. Um, so those are my two free ones. A little late for Halloween, but this will work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here and get started on Elsa. And then we will come back and see how she looks. Alright. See you soon. Bye. Alright, brush monkeys. I'm back. And I've done the skin and face and the hair and based the cloth. Of our girl Elsa here and she is looking really good I am really just ridiculously happy with how that face turned out you know for somebody who doesn't paint eyes she looks fantastic and so the cloth is going to be let's see this little bodice thing she's wearing is going to be matte white the cloth here and around the back is going to be uh, apothecary white and probably a little highlight of matte white um, but I'm also going to paint the uh, wrappings on her arms and legs here in uh, wraith bone and then go over them with snake bite leather or excuse me skeleton horde snake bite leather be a little too dark go over them with skeleton horde I may thin down the skeleton horde a little bit just to make that even lighter and then they're gonna I'm gonna dry brush them with the uh, tyrant skull but yeah she's coming along I'm really happy with how the the little lines in her hair looked I thought they were uneven at first but after I re referred back to my uh, um, my research picks she actually does have one higher than the other once it's a little bit higher up on her temple than the other one does but I like it. I like how I got that kind of pale dead skin, but still managed to highlight her cheekbones and lips and eyes. Really happy with how she's coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and base the wrappings in the wraith bone and uh, do the apothecary white on the cloth. And then I'll take a break and we'll come back and see how that looks. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Alright, brush monkeys. I've got the the white of her dress done, I've got the white of her bodice layered, and I've got her wraps all dry brushed, and they're looking pretty good. And I layered her skin again with another layer of pale skin, so just to differentiate it from the wraps a little bit. And I think I did a pretty good job, with the exception of the hair, obviously, which we already talked about, I thought it looked better than the black. And I used a Nightmare Black for that, so it's very, very dark blue. Uh, I think I did a really good job of capturing that old uh, uh, old classic 
Elsa Lanchester Bride of Frankenstein look. So now I'm going to do these little columns here. These are going to be done with uh, blackened steel and dry brush with Necron compound. And then I'm going to do a, kind of a quick and dirty OSL on the on the globes. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to paint the globe white to begin with and then I'm going to paint it with uh, a little of this athermatic blue and then dry brush it with uh, um, Praxetti white. So I think it's too small a piece to actually try to do the airbrushing on but uh, I think that'll make it look okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go do that and then uh, we'll come back and take a look at it and see how it looks. All right. See you soon. Bye. Alright, Brush Monkeys, we're back. And as you can see, I've got the little electrical columns there all painted up and dry brushed. The globes I based in um, matte white and then painted with the athermatic blue. Um, the uh, athermatic blue is a contrast paint and it's still kind of wet so I'm gonna let that dry and then I may do another coat of the athermatic blue just over the bottom part of the the electrical um, and maybe just a little bit over the part of the column itself just to give it a little OSL effect um, but and uh, I based a few of the stones I went, went over and painted them I don't know if you can tell that on there um, but yeah, they're, they're looking pretty good. I'm going to do the, uh, like I said, I'm probably going to do another layer of the athermatic blue once that dries. And then I'm going to dry brush it with a Praxetti white. Uh, just on the tops there. And I think that's going to look really good. And then the base is going to be done kind of similar to the, uh, since it's one of the Carnival bases, I'm going to do it kind of similar to the Carnival bases. I'm going to do the uh, bricks in Basilicanum Gray. But because this is kind of like one of those old black and white horror movie monsters. I'm going to do the base and band in uh, Army Painter Matte Black. And I think that's going to look really good. So I'm really happy with how she's turning out so far. I think she looks really good. This is really a nice model. So I'm going to take a moment here and take a break while that uh, contrast paint dries and then we'll uh, come back and finish her up. Alright, see you soon. All right, I'm back, and I did, um, I did another layer of the athermatic blue around the bottom of the globe, right there, and then I dry brushed the tops white, so you get that kind of OSL effect out of them. I think that came out looking really good. I'm really kind of happy with how that happened. And then of course I painted the um, Basilicanum Gray contrast paint on the base. So all that's left really is to paint the base band. But I need to take a break and let that contrast paint dry before I come back and paint the base band. So overall, she is looking really, really good. I really like how this model came out. Um, That's just just a gorgeous piece of work there. So, um, like I said, I just got to let the contrast paint on the base dry and then paint the base band. So I think the next time you see this lady, she's going to be completely done. So I'm going to take a break here and let that dry, and then uh, we'll come back, and like I said, the next time you see her, she'll be done. See you soon. Bye. And there she is, Brush Monkeys, our finished Elsa Bride from the Bombshell Miniatures Babes line. I think she turned out really well. I think I did uh, Elsa Lancaster service painting her up. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how she came out. So next week we'll be wrapping up the Bombshell Babes line with our last figure. And that is Carmella the Vampire Queen. It's another old horror movie style figure. So thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below 
Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Both of those help me with my YouTube numbers and help support me doing and what, what I do best. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you want to support me more directly, you can visit my Patreon site um, and go on my Instagram page to see uh, all the miniatures that I paint on this site and how to get your hands on one of your own if you want one. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can check both of those to see when new videos get posted. And visit my merch store at uh, storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.